Hi there, Linda from Fomagerie Zengeri back in the kitchen with another easy vegan recipe for you today. I'm always on the lookout for super easy, fast, delicious recipes that my family is gonna are gonna love. And this chili mac and cheese that I make in the Instant Pot certainly fits the bill. It's super delicious, mother approved, and kid tested. It's sure to become one of your new family favorites. recipes every Thursday make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you're notified every time a new video comes out okay so today we're making our vegan chili mac and cheese for this we're going to use our Fomagri Zangari smoky jalapeno flavor we're going to put that in right at the end we also have a package of uh, macaroni noodles so I've chosen a tortiglioni noodle just for to make it a little cuter to look at I have two cups of vegetable broth two sausages chopped up so those are vegan sausages some ground pepper I have a little bit of olive oil some um, tomato paste salt our spices we use some chili powder cumin little cayenne pepper and oregano three cloves of garlic minced and then I have one white onion minced and half a red pepper, one 18 ounce can of chopped tomatoes, one can of kidney beans rinsed and um, drained and rinsed, and then our package of Fomagri Zangari smoky jalapeno cashew cheese. So I'm in love with my Instant Pot. I got it last Christmas. I've been experimenting with it ever since. We're going to start this recipe by turning it on saute. Might take a little while to warm up. I'm going to just put a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of my pan. And we're going to start sauteing our onions and red pepper. So we're just going to saute the onion and chopped red pepper until the onion is translucent. That should take three to five minutes. It might take a little while for your Instant Pot to warm up, so be patient. I know it's supposed to be an Instant Pot, but it takes more than an instant to warm up. I'm going to add just a pinch of salt. onions are translucent and softened, I'm going to add my minced garlic. Be careful not to let it burn, so you want to keep mixing. I am just loving my Instant Pot these days. I've used it to make so many different things from rice, to baked potatoes, to sweet potatoes, to this chili mac and cheese. So I'm just wondering, what are you guys making in your Instant Pots these days? Comment in the comments below and let me know what your favorite Instant Pot recipes are. Okay, now that this is almost cooked, I'm gonna add my veggie sausage. So I used some Gusta sausage in here. I just chop them into little half moons, but you can chop them smaller or crumble them up if you prefer. I'm just going to let that warm through. Let the sausage, sausage start to brown just a little bit. Okay, so now we are ready to add all of our other ingredients. I'm going to start with one can of diced tomatoes. I 
and I'm going to add two cups of vegetable broth. And I'm going to add my spices. So we have two teaspoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, half a teaspoon of oregano. And then I'm going to add just over one teaspoon, about one and a half teaspoons of salt to that. And I'm going to add my rinsed kidney beans. So that's just one can of kidney beans rinsed. And then I'm going to add my special pasta. You need about eight ounces of pasta in here. You could use just regular mac and cheese macaroni noodles, but these little spirals I thought were kind of cute, so we're going to use those today. And I was a little nervous at first cooking pasta in my Instant Pot. I was afraid it was just going to be one big mushy mess, but it turned out really well. So. The pasta comes out just al dente, just about perfect. And when you reheat it, it doesn't get mushy either. So we just want to give that a little mix. So I like to uh, use tomato paste in this little squeeze tube. I'm going to put in about two tablespoons because this way I can just put the cap back on and if I don't use a whole can, I can put it back in the fridge and it won't go bad. So that ideally should be mixed in with the tomatoes before you add the pasta, but sometimes plans, things don't go according to plan. Okay, so there we go. We're ready to pressure cook this. I'm going to put the lid on. Lock it in place. Make sure that my vent is um, to seal. And then I'm gonna turn off the saute. And we click pressure cook, set it for four minutes, and leave it to go. You could have a little glass of wine while it's cooking. And then wait for it to release. So our Chili mac and cheese has cooked for four minutes and we have let it vent according to directions from the Instant Pot people. So we're just going to open it up. You have to be careful, you let all the steam escape, follow the directions of course. So inside we have our beautiful mac and chili and now we have to add the cheese part. So we're going to take our wheel of Zengari, Pomadri Zengari, smoky jalapeno, cashew cheese, and I'm going to, so I'm just going to cut it up quickly inside the container and then dump it all in there. and then mix it up until it's uniformly distributed throughout. You want to do this while it's nice and hot so that the, the macaroni and chili melts the cheese and it all gets beautifully mixed in. Smells amazing. So it does take a while for your Instant Pot to vent but you don't really have to be watching it or anything. You can go off and do the laundry or read a story with the kids or even go to soccer practice and come back and everything will be ready for you for dinner. So this is looking really great. Very cheesy. I'm just gonna add a few twists of freshly ground pepper. So if you like it a little spicier, you can up the quantity of chili powder, not chili powder, cayenne pepper in there. That'll give it a little more spice if you like the more caliente chili. 
this is looking amazing. So I'm just going to plate it up. We've got our beans in there for protein. And it's just so delicious. There we go. I'm just going to add a little bit of garnish. You could use cilantro, or right here I have some just chopped chives. Your little splash of green. So there you go. Delicious chili vegan mac and cheese in no time, really. It was so easy, and your family is really going to love it. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, click subscribe and be sure to click the bell so that you get notifications every Thursday when we have new videos coming out. And share it with your friends. Bye for now.